Yo, what's up guys? So here we are again with another 100 forces video. I'm gonna teach five forces with cars today. I know, I know it seems crazy, but uh, I've done it. I've done the work and I'm doing it for you. And I think that deserves a sub, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If not, then you know, I'll just quit doing these. I'm gonna quit doing them if you don't sub to the channel. I've already taught, what is it, 35 at this point? I've, I've lost count. There are so many forces, so many gems. Let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. It does mean the world to me that you'll just sit down and watch my videos. Uh, I'm blessed. And I'm never gonna stop, I'm never gonna change. I'm just gonna keep evolving and keep doing what I do. And it's all for you because I love you. I guess evolving means kind of changing, but you know what I mean, you get the idea. So until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys. All right, so as per usual with these uh, videos, the Ace of Spades will always be the Force card, all right? So the first Force is called the, uh, well, it's just a version of the Hindu Shuffle. It's sort of like a combination of the Hindu Shuffle meets in the hands crosscut Force. Very effective, very lovely, and uh, good Force. So this is what it looks like. The deck is shuffled, and uh, you start to shuffle, and you just ask the person to uh, say stop any time as you shuffle, all right? So maybe they say stop right around there. Now that's about oh, halfway down the deck, and you could have stopped anywhere. From a shuffled deck, you chose the Ace of Spades. All right, so for this, the Force card is on top of the deck, and at the beginning, you want to sort of shuffle the deck to, you know, to make it seem like the deck is mixed. You can either do a slip shuffle, keeping the back card on there like this with the slip, or uh, since you're doing a Hindu shuffle, Force, you can just do a center Hindu, and you do that by pulling out a block from the center like this. You see that happening, and just doing a Hindu shuffle. All right, so at full speed, it looks very good, and you're just keeping uh, the Force card in place as you do the Hindu shuffle. Anyway. When you want to do the force, just start the regular Hindu shuffle and ask the person to say stop as you shuffle. Once they do, you're going to just slap the unshuffled portion in jogged about halfway on top of that uh, card. Now what you do is you grab everything from the front and turn it over face down towards you like this. So it looks like that out jogged portion now is where they said stop art. But to really emphasize that, you can uh, you know push it forward with your fingers like this and spread the deck and say you know from a shuffle deck you said stop anywhere, but you chose to stop me at the eighth of spades. So here's a multiple force, and I always say that any sort of spectator cuts to the aces uh, principle can be used as a force because you are forcing four cards, but uh, it seems like the cut to the aces. But really, I mean, if you think about it, it's a force. So this one is no exception, but I will uh, use the aces just to demonstrate uh, what it is. But normally, if you want to force four cards, you would just use random cards, right, to make it seem like, you know, it's a random decision. Because if, obviously, if they cut to the four aces, then they'll just think to the They'll just think, well, how'd you make me cut to the aces? But if they were just random cards, like, like maybe a 10, a 2, a 3, and a 4, you can uh, use that to your advantage to have a, you know, like a number prediction. All these values add up to a number that I predicted, or whatever you want to do, all right? So that's just the basic uh, concept, and I'll show you with aces. All right, so for my shuffled deck, uh, we can have somebody just cut off some cards, all right? So in fact, for this, we'll uh, have them cut off four piles of cards, all right? So maybe some goes there, maybe some here, there, and there, and they really, they really could have cut anywhere. But uh, the fact is, they, uh, there was really no way to predict or know beforehand which cards or how many cards they would cut off, all right? So we'll just take each card like this, and um, oh, look at that, there's the Ace of Spades. That's pretty lucky. Ah, oh, the, the Ace of Diamonds, wow. Oh, no way, look, Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts. I'd say that's pretty lucky. All right, so for this, you're going to have your Force cards on top of the deck. I just have the Aces here, but you, like I said, you can use any cards that you want to Force, all right? So all four cards on top of the deck, and you can even use three or maybe two cards, all right? Just do two piles instead of the four or three piles instead of the, instead of the four, all right? So however many cards you want to Force, you have them cut off that many piles. So once they do that, you're in this position right here where you know where the aces are on top of this pile. All right, so what you do is you pick that pile up and just talk in a gesture and say, you're saying you, there's no way to know how many cards you cut off or how, what cards you cut to. And when you do that, uh, you're going to just scoot this card back, the fourth card back in this pile, which is the fourth ace, back with your fingers like this. That way you can get an end jog on that uh, last card. And that's much more uh, efficient than getting a break because sometimes people can see that that big gap when you close up the spread. So it's better to just scoot that card back to your end jog like this. 
So what you're going to do as you place this packet back down, you're going to pick it up in bundle grip, but at the same time, you're going to lift up at the end jog like this, so you can get a thumb break now on those under those four aces, right? So as you set that packet down, it's going to look like you just pick up the top card of this packet. What really happens though is you pick up all four cards in bundle grip like this, all right? So once again, you uh, have your pinky break. Or, or, or I'm sorry, at this point you lift up at the end jog like this, get your thumb break as you set it down, pick up those four cards like this. All right, so in the same action, when you set them down, you at the same time take your other hand and pick up this card like this, that way there's misdirection, all right? So what's gonna happen now is you just put this card under this one, under the whole block, but you're gonna keep a thumb break like this, all right? So you're just keeping a thumb break between the block of bases and the random cards, all right? So you keep doing that, putting these cards under the whole time keeping that thumb break like this. Now, when you get to the last one, when you put it under, your hand wants to naturally come, your, this hand will just come to meet it instead of bringing it up, all right? So when it comes down to meet it, all you're gonna do is drop off all those cars below the break on top of this packet as you uh, come to raise everything like this. Say, look, we have an ace, another ace, another ace, and the last ace. All right, so these queens are going to tell me exactly what the card is that you're going to pick in a minute, all right? So from a shuffle deck, uh, you can uh, take out any card you want. It really can be any card. And what we'll do is we'll put it uh, inside of the queens. And let's see, these queens are going to tell me exactly what the card is. Let's see, I think it, uh, I think it might be a black card. I think it might be a spade card. I think it might be... Uh, let's see, I think it might be, I think it's the ace of spades, honestly. They're telling me it's the ace of spades. Do we get it right? Ah, oh, we got it right. It's the ace of spades. All right, so this is the sandwich switch force. For this, you want to have two sandwich cards, uh, two, you know, you know, two alike cards, and your force card is on the bottom of the deck. Now, what's going to happen is you can just do a slip shuffle to keep it on the bottom, just to let the spectator know that, the, hey, these cards are shuffled. They're well mixed, all right? So now what's going to happen is you want to put these cards on top of the deck, and you spread the deck, or what you can have them do is just deal the cards and then whatever card they stop on, slide that card in between in between the queens. However you get there is up to you, but uh, we'll do it this way since I'm recording, all right? So a uh, card is selected and placed in between uh, the queens just like this. Now what's going to happen, of course, this is just a random card, but you need to switch it for the force card. So what's going to happen is that you need to get a break, like get a pinky break on that bottom card above it like this as you put these cards on top. Now you want to pick the deck up in Biddle Grip, and as you do so, you just transfer that pinky break to a thumb break, all right? So you're holding a thumb break above that bottom force card, all right? So now what's going to happen is you're going to peel the first queen off the deck like this into your hand with your thumb like this. Now as you peel that random card off, you're going to steal that bottom ace using your pinky, all right? So this is exposed view. This that pinky engages that break like this. As you peel the next card off, you just drop it on that packet as you peel that random card. That just sort of camouflages in between that motion, all right? So right now, the random card is on top of the ace of spades, which was stolen uh, within that middle count. Now it's important as you do that to keep a break below that random card, all right? So once again, you have your thumb break, the thumb break above the force card. First, card, first queen is uh, slid off into your hand. Uh, you drop that card on as that top card is being drawn off, like this. So you see it right there being stolen out. As you peel that card at the same time, you keep a break under it like this. As you go to now peel that last queen, that random card gets stolen back on the bottom of the deck as that is being taken off, all right? So you're like this now with a one card in between the queens, which is the force card. Let me see if I can get it to work for you uh, like this. So once again, you're here peeling that first queen off like this. Uh, as you go to take the second card, that you just take that bottom card with it. As you peel that next card, that random card, keeping a break under it. Now you just, as you take the last queen, uh, you just steal that broken card onto the bottom of the deck like this as you take the queen, all right? So it looks like you've just taken the sandwich off of the deck, but really you've switched out the, the card. Here's a nice uh, dribble for us that sort of uh, resembles the Hindu force, sort of uses the same actions, but if you prefer dribbling instead, because you know the Hindu shuffle is kind of a weird thing to do, not everybody likes it. So here's a nice uh, dribbling option that you may prefer, all right? So uh, what we can do is we can dribble a deck like this and have them say stop any time. Once they do, uh, say look, you could have stopped anywhere from a shuffled deck. One card was stopped at by you, and that card happens to be the Ace of Spades. Who would have thought? Man, I love this force. All right, so the force card is on top of the deck. Again, you can do a slip shuffle, keeping it there. 
And you say, look, I'm going to drop cards like this. As I do, just say stop any time, all right? So once they do, you want to take your thumb from, from your deck hand and just flip this packet over as you turn this over in a sort of a stud style, all right? So uh, they say stop. You turn both packets over at the same time by putting your thumb under and then turning this over stud like this. Now, you want to sort of have a spread deck like this, all right? So, and you sort of want to talk and be like, look, you could have stopped anywhere. The deck was shuffled and there's no way to know exactly what the card is. But what's going to happen is that's the original top card of the deck, the part of the deck you flipped over from your deck hand. So, you just updog this and you do this from a shuffled deck, blah, 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 force card. That's the kind of force that just flies by every time, and it's uh, it's so satisfying. Let me just do it again for you. See, stop any time, stop right there. Uh, from a shuffle deck, I mean, you could have said stop anywhere. Wouldn't it be crazy if you stopped directly at the Ace of Spades? Wouldn't that be lucky? Oh, look at that, you did. All right, so this little uh, group of cards will be sort of my prediction in a minute, all right? So uh, in a minute, I can have you shuffle the deck, and you can shuffle as much as you want to. Maybe give it a cut as well after you're done shuffling. And what I want you to do is deal cards on the table and stop whenever you uh, feel like stopping, all right? So maybe we can do this. They can stop whenever they want to. It really can be random, all right? So uh, the crazy thing is whenever you stop, it'll be the card that we need for this poker hand that I'm holding in my hand right now, all right? So maybe you stop right here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, keep the card face down, but I'll show you all the cards that I had as a prediction, all right? So look at that. It's a 10, it's a jack, it's a queen, and it's a king. And the card you stopped on, this face down card, uh wow look at that it's the ace of spades and that my friends is the uh, elmsley switch uh force all right so for this you want to get a royal flush out like this so 10 jack queen king and you want to put the ace uh on top of the deck all right so on top on top of the packet now you have these five cards out and you can have them shuffle the deck and give us some cuts and you're going to say that they can deal cards onto the table. And any time they want to stop, they can. And as this is all happening, all you're going to do is uh, just in jog that top card slightly, that ace of spades. So it's uh, in jog like this, ready to rock and roll. You know, but don't make a big deal out of it. Your hand is just casually on the table like this, and nobody can see that in jog, all right? So they uh, uh, deal cards like this, stop whenever they want to. And once they stop on a card, you, you take it from them, and you just put it on top of the packet like this. Now what's going to happen, it's going to look, look like you just uh, take that card like this and, you know, turn to face up all the other cards. What really happens is because because of the end jog, you just lift up two cards like this. Uh, from the end jog like this, you just take two cards as you flip these bottom cards face up like this. Now, originally, this was really an Elmsley count, but instead of the Elmsley count, you can it's much easier, right? So all you're going to do is Elmsley position, and then you're going to thumb over one, two, three cards to show them the royal flush at this point you're going to do a double pushover like this and it doesn't matter if they're not perfectly aligned because you, your hands are in motion all right so that bottommost card is the ace of spades so whenever we count all the face up cards it looks like that last card is that card they selected but in reality it's right there hidden under the king and that's accomplished by that uh, that double pushover like this all you're doing is squeezing the edge of the packet and pushing your thumb to the side and it'll it'll, it'll just be a double pushover automatically all right so just put it on top of the packet like this see like i have a royal flush and the card we need to finish the royal flush is yep you guessed it the ace of spades now to clean it up it's very simple all we're going to do is uh take your fingers from underneath uh there's the 10 there's the jack there's the queen there's the king now had you stopped uh maybe right here that would have been the nine of diamonds that would have been the four of clubs whatever so all, all it did there is after i counted all those cards i just casually put this on top of this packet look you could have stopped on you know blah blah blah, blah and that's how you uh, that's how you clean it up so that is uh the five forces i hope you enjoyed them i certainly did all right guys, so as always, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. It does mean the world to me that you'll just sit down and watch my videos. Uh, I'm blessed. And I'm never gonna stop, I'm never gonna change. I'm just gonna keep evolving and keep doing what I do. And it's all for you because I love you. I guess evolving means kind of changing, but you know what I mean, you get the idea. So until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.